what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so i just saw that the patch came out like 20 minutes ago where they reduced the grabs recoil uh if you used it before you would know that like the first four or five shots had just an insane amount of recoil which made it basically unusable compared to uh basically all the other metal weapons so it really needed a recoil reduction uh, i went in and measured it right away and because i've been working on the premium features for the website which is what you see in the background here i had all the recoil plots already taken for the previous grav except the 30 round conversion so unfortunately i don't have a 30 round conversion to compare to uh from before the update but i do have the base grav and i do have the post update uh grav recoil with the uh, ammo conversion so it's gonna be a really short video i'm just going to tell you about this uh recoil change you can see it here in the back like i said orange is the uh pre-buff grav so i can turn that on and off there uh, magenta is the the new grav so the post update grav today as of 20 minutes ago and then the cyan color is the uh, 30 round conversion so this is the 30 round conversion that increases damage but also increases recoil um, you can see that the the post buff um, 30 round conversion is basically the same as the pre-buff base gun was um, so you can assume that this was probably about 20 percent higher with the 30 round conversion before this patch um, but it looks like they reduced the recoil by about 20 percent um, you can see on here the recoil rate is calculated so this is essentially how fast you have to move your mouse to correct for that recoil or how far you have to hold your thumbstick down to correct for that recoil the new premium feature for recoil is going to contain that for all all guns so let's add the gun that i think is pretty much the most meta right now uh, i'm going to add the em2 to this so if i search we'll go to em2 get the em2 on that plot and then we will look at recoil compared to that um, so the EM2 has more recoil, but you can see the the recoil rate of the EM2 is lower because it shoots slower. So the actual recoil on the wall is greater. The green line here, or the green dots are the EM2 recoil, um, but it does have only 201 pixels per second uh, recoil rate at base. So you can see that uh, the recoil rate of the orange grav was originally 221 pixels per second, and that's because it shot faster. So even though the wall was shorter, the wall pattern was shorter, because it shoots faster, it gets to that point much quicker, and that makes the recoil rate faster. But now after this update, um, the purple grav here with the new recoil is only 181 pixels per second, so that's a little bit less than the EM2 at base. Um, I did actually try it out a little bit in Clash just for a couple minutes just to see what it felt like. I don't have the Task Force barrel unlocked yet, but I have everything else, uh, and I use the barrel that's almost the same as the Task Force. I think it's like reinforced heavy or something, and it still felt super hard to control to me, very, very visually recoil bouncy compared to the EM2. Um, so I don't really expect this to change it and bring it into the meta. Uh, I think it'll still be kind of an, an overly bouncy and overly uh, high recoil gun. But that's all I wanted to say. This is the premium feature that's coming very, very soon. We're almost done. As you can see, most of it's working already. Um, so this will be coming soon. You'll be able to compare recoils yourselves. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about this new recoil update for the Grav. And that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the short video and I'll see you in the next one.